weeks. Joining me now for more on this, the first round of subpoenas, Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurti of Illinois. He sits on the House Oversight Committee and was in that hearing earlier uh, today. I want to uh, follow up on, on that, the, the whistleblower interview. Uh, Republicans were very angry about this. They said it was sprung on them. Do they have a fair complaint? No. Uh, basically, we were following whistleblower protocol in this situation. She wanted to make sure that the interview happened uh, on a Saturday because she, quite frankly, didn't want to take time off and then be subject to further retaliation. Right. She's already alleged that um, she was suspended uh, without pay for two weeks for bringing up the various concerns that she has uh, brought forward about irregularities in the process uh, by which uh, various people have been vetted for security clearances at the White House. Um, I want to play you a little bit of the interview she she did uh, with with her own Peter Alexander. Her name is Trisha Newbold. Uh, this is what she had to say. Take a listen. Why is this issue so important that you felt the need to speak out? The protection of national security is not a Democratic issue or a Republican issue. It's an American issue. And we as security professionals owe it to make all our recommendations in the best interest of national security. I am concerned, but it's important that we stand up to do the right thing, no matter what. Um, am I correct that your committee has now issued subpoenas on exactly this question of security clearances inside the White House? What are those subpoenas seeking? Basically, um, this uh, specific subpoena with regard to security clearances seeks the testimony of an individual named Carl Klein. He was uh, the supervisor for Ms. Newbold. Now, as you know, Ms. Newbold alleged that 25 individuals um, had cases in which the career civil servants denied security clearances and then were overturned by the White House, and they uh, basically granted access to potentially top secret materials. And so one of the irregularities that really stands out is that she says, for instance, that credit checks have been stopped with regard to applicants. Um, why somebody should uh, get access to top secret materials when they can't pass a credit check is beyond me. Um, th there is a, a security headline that I wanted to, to, to get your thoughts to, uh, on, given the area of investigation going into, which is that a Chinese woman who entered Mar-a-Lago with malware uh, talked her way past Secret Service, apparently. She had some USBs and some stuff. We don't know what she was doing there, but she was federally charged. Uh, wh what do you make of that? Well, I think this is uh, all the more reason why we have to make sure that we vet people very carefully uh, for access to top secret materials. Um, we don't know what this person's intentions were going into Mar-a-Lago, um, but what we do know is that uh, we have to have a vetting process that's much more secure than what they use at Mar-a-Lago to allow people in into their club. And that is a process that is ironclad that makes sure that people with financial vulnerabilities or unreported foreign contacts don't get access to our crown jewels of national security, potentially what has occurred. And that's why the investigation has to continue. All right, Congressman Raja Krishnamurti, thank you.